is the book of Jude, verse 24. Now unto him that is able to keep you from falling, and to present you faultless before the presence of his glory, with exceeding joy, to the only wise power of our Savior, be glory and majesty, the minute and power, both now and ever, so be it. Give all praises, all honor, all glory to the Heavenly Father and His only begotten Son, Yahweh, Bahasham, Yahweh Shai, Bahasham, Ucha, Chodash. And double honor to mighty church, the apostles, the elders, and the bishops of Great Millstone who watch over our souls. Shalom to the Yakim of Roy, the Dar, sincere and serious doing the will. Of Yahweh, Bahasham Yahweh Shai, Bahasham Mukha Kodash, 2 Peter chapter 1, verse 1 and 2. To you all, stay strong and stay mighty. Yes, I'm the brother, the disciple Kosha Banyamin, and the branch in Great Millstone Barbados. The flesh can be dangerous. There's a, um, a text that was sent to me by when the boys in Trinidad camp. Stay, he said, Stay strong, brother. I hold firm. That flesh is dangerous. Yeah, and also, it limited the precepts in Matthew chapter 26, verse 41. Watch and pray. That you enter not into temptation. Now I take that word temptation, but you enter into sin. Right? So you're supposed to watch and pray. You know what I mean? The spirit indeed is willing, but the flesh is weak. This flesh, boy, this fleshy body we in, you know what I mean? Uh, this this earthy body we in. It's weak, it's carnal, you know. Uh, Satan is able to control it, you know. But the example we have is, is the example of our Lord, Yahweh Shai. Yeah, so as I was saying, the best example we have is the example of our Lord. You have a shy, you know what I mean? He also was tempted, right? Like us, we get the book of uh, Hebrews. Hebrews, um. Like it, man. Hebrews chapter 2 and verse. Let me start at 16. For verily he took not on him the nature of angels, but he took on him the seed of Abraham. Talking about our Lord Yahweh Shai, right? Wherefore in all things it behoove him to be made unto his brethren. Right, God, God, he, he, so I'll show you that the Lord, there wasn't no immaculate conception. The Lord came in the flesh through the art of sex, his father Joseph, meeting his mother Mary, right? So there was no virgin birth, they, they did have sex, right? It says, wherefore, in all things it behoove him to be merely unto his brethren, that he might be a merciful and faithful high priest in things pertaining to the Mosai, to make reconciliation for the sins of the people. For in that he himself have suffered being tempted, he is able to secure them that are tempted. Right, so Yahweh Shai went through the same thing. You see? He 
actually see him thing, so he's able to help us. That's why your security is be of good cheer. I have overcome the world, so we can go. You feeling down? You feeling stressed out? You feeling low in the spirit? There's someone you can look up to. I hope people got the favorite athlete to look up to. You know, they will hear a motivational speech and they get revived. Well, we can go to our Lord and Savior, Yahweh Shai HaMashiach, the greatest of all, is right, to get revived. St. Luke chapter 4 verse 1, And Yahweh Shai, being full of the Holy Spirit, returned from Jordan and was led by the Spirit into the wilderness. Being forty days tempted of the devil, and in those days he did eat nothing, and when they were ended, he afterward a hungered. And the devil said unto him, If thou be the son of the most high, command this stone that it be made bread. And the Yahweh shut down to him, saying, It is written that man shall not live by bread alone, but by every word of the most high. God, every word of the Lord is what nourishes you. You say every word of the Lord is what keeps you going. You say that's what to prove that with every word is his wisdom of Solomon. Um, well, if you get that precept, boy, this will be funny here quick. No shift. Yeah, Wisdom of Solomon 16, verse 25. Therefore, even then was it altered into all fashions, and was obedient to thy grace that nourisheth all things according to the desire of them that need it, that thy children, O Lord, whom thou lovest, might know that it is not the growing of fruits that nourisheth man, but that it is thy word which preserveth them that put their trust in thee. You see, so it's the word of the Lord, right? The word of the Lord is what? Um, how, should, how man should live, see? Right? See, Luke 4 and 5, and the devil taking him up into a high mountain and showed unto him all the kings of the world in a moment of time. And the devil said unto him, all this power will I give thee and the glory of them, for that is delivered unto me, and to whomsoever I will, I give it. If thou therefore will worship me, all shall be thine. And Yahweh shied down and said unto him, What you see here is Satan using scriptures, right? Using tactics to get the Lord to yield to him. Is you see anything that happens with us? Is that? Right? Sitting the peace to your flesh. Sitting the peace to your desire. That's why Judas Iscariot sold out. He wanted that money. He wanted that recognition. Delilah. She wanted that money. Is that? And many others. You know what I mean? So they appeal to sitting the peace to your flesh. See? And Yahweh shut down and said unto him, Get thee behind me, Satan. For it is written, Thou shalt worship the Lord thy power, and him only shall thou serve. So, what Satan? Well, the Lord did. He combated him with the scripture, man. Is that right? So, what the Lord was doing was walking in the spirit. Let me get that. Shut, shut. I really want this to be long open in plantation, but. You know, a lot of things happening now in Israel. You see? Right? And, um. Is a is is a constant eye opener for me. You know what I mean? Like I said, like the brother sent me the text. The flesh is dangerous. You know what I mean? You you if you overcome 
your ob if you overcome your obstacle, whatever it may be, and you don't subdue that, you don't become a new man. That same obstacle you overcome is going to be the one that will cause you to fall out this truth. Whatever tendencies you had in the world that you was quote unquote good at, really wicked at, if you don't subside that to the spirit of Yahweh, Bahasham, Yahweh Shai, that same, you know what, let me get a preset before you get Galatians 5. Right? And I had it in the NLT version, boy, but I ain't got no more internet. Um, this is First Peter chapter 2, verse 19. Right? Let me start at 18. For when they speak great swelling words of vanity, they allure to the lust of the flesh. I just mentioned that. So, say that appease to your flesh, your desires. There's a scripture that says, put a knife to thy throat, right? If your mind give him over to appetites, put a knife to thy throat. It's not, li it's not literally talking about put a knife to your throat, right? It's figurative, meaning cut it off. You understand? Cut it off. It says, too much wantonness, those that were clean escape from them who live in error. While they promised them liberty, they themselves are the servants of corruption, for of whom a man is overcome, of the same is he brought in bondage. So, if you overcome being an adulterer in the world, right? To the knowledge of the Lord and Savior. In fact, does that same scripture mention that? Yeah, verse 20, for if after they have escaped the pollutions of the world through the knowledge of the Lord and Savior, Yahweh Shehim Mashiach, so you heard this truth, you heard this power, okay? And you, shit, you, 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 you got baptized, meaning immerse in this word, this word, this word claims you, right? And you stop doing any things, but it's always lurking. It's always in the background, you know? You always get tests, you always get trials up there. You see? You know what I mean? It says, they are again entangled therein and overcome. So you get entangled back into this world. When you get entangled, it means you get trapped in it. You can't get out of it. Like a bear trap, boom. Or a spider's web. You know what I mean? You don't have the oil. The oil is this knowledge and this truth. You don't have the oil to slide on the spider's web. You have gotten trapped by it. You've gotten trapped by it. Right? And overcome. So meaning you get uh, uh, defeated this time boy it says the latter end is worse with them than the beginning so before you even well so your your end is only going to be worse than your beginning you can got seven more spirits wicked than 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 when you was first cleansed boy another fightful fearful fearful thing be he totally gave you over to being an adulterer or a thief. You know what I mean? You've gone back into that, that worldly mindset. Boys, you know how much worse things can happen to you? You got away when you was in the world. You barely escaped. Then judgments. But no, that you know this truth. Are you going to sin willfully? Wait a minute. That's another precept, boy. You're going to sin willfully? That's what? Hebrews 6. I think it is. Hebrews 6 or Hebrews 4 maybe I gotta get a new Bible boy um, Hebrews 6 
Yeah, let me let me get Hebrews six. In my form, man. My, my Bible here. <clears throat> like I said, my plantations will forgive any interruptions. Um, Hebrews six. A verse. Let me start at four. For it is impossible for those who were once enlightened and have tasted a heavenly gift, and were made partakers of the Holy Spirit, and have tasted the good word of the Messiah and the powers of the world to come, if they shall fall away, to renew them again unto repentance, seeing they crucified to themselves the Son of God afresh, and put him to an open shame. You, you pussy for the Lord again, B. Hebrews 10, verse 26. For if we sin willfully, after that we have received the knowledge of the truth there remaineth no more sacrifice for sins are you supposed to be that sacrifice right so if you don't yo if you don't sincerely repent like yo if i mean like when you go if you had to leave the flock you go on the, you still go on the highways you really you your sacrifice will not be honored you you like you sacrificing a dog's neck you're sacrificing like a, like, like a dog's neck, you know what I mean? It, 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 it is not acceptable to the Lord anymore. I ain't gonna come back, man. I ain't gonna come back. Shall I want me how about she never shake about the dog? Then? Yeah. Yeah, so let me read Hebrews 10 and 26 again. For if we sin willfully, after that we have received the knowledge of the truth. So really you left this truth and you go back into the world, you know, um, you go back into the pollutions of the world, is it? You teaching down about heresies, you, your sacrifice really is not worthy, you know what I mean? You got to be very careful of that. There remain of no more sacrifice for our sins. So that way the Lord told the story of Pharisee, you shall die in your sins. If you believe that, if you don't believe I am he, you shall die in your sins. So a lot of you um, men that left this truth, um, kicked out, didn't repent, you know, teaching down the heresies now. When you go on the highways and hedges, are you so called sacrificing because your body is supposed to be a living sacrifice. The Lord sees that I do sacrificing a dog, a dog's neck. So he ain't really worthy to the Lord. You you basically like Ken. You know, you basically like Ken, boy. You say? You basically like Ken, boy. Isaiah 1 and 11. To what purpose is the multitude of your sacrifices under me? See if the Lord. I am full of the burnt offerings of rams and the fat of fed beasts, and I delight not in the blood of bullocks, or of lambs, or of he goats. When ye come to appear before me, who have required this at your hand to tread my course? Bring no more vain oblations, incense is an abomination under me. The new moons and sabbath, the calling of assemblies, I cannot obey with. It is iniquity, even the solemn meeting. Your new moons and your appointed feasts, my soul hateth. They are a trouble under me. I am weary to bear them. You hear that? See, remember when the quote unquote playing when they keeping the, the, the laws, you know what I mean? But still doing wicked things. The Lord does not honor your sacrifice. The Lord don't honor your Sabbath when you keep the Sabbath there. If you can keep it. The Lord don't honor your, 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 your uh, uh, when you hold an assembly with the brothers. Lord ain't checking for that be. Because your heart ain't in the right place. Is it? 
It's not in the right place, boy. Real thing. Um, I was trying to find out what a dog's neck, right? But anyhow. Uh, so let me go now to Galatians 5. For that right, the fact Hebrews 10 and um, 27, for but a certain fearful looking for of judgment and fiery indignation which shall devour the adversaries. And the Lord got a lot of adversaries, boy. And from his own people. So it's gonna be judgment coming upon those that you know what I mean? Um for certain Lord that doing wicked things, be you supposed to got this truth. You see? This word is really sifting the house of Israel, but Amos 9 and, and uh, Amos 9 and, and 10, wait a minute. Isaiah, oh, should they, they really want to hear Isaiah 66. At verse 3, he that killeth an ox is as if he slew a man. He that sacrificed of a lamb as if he cut off a dog's neck, he that offereth an oblation, as if he offers swine's blood, he that burneth incense, as if he blessed an idol, yet they have chosen their own ways, and their soul delighteth in their abominations, like Sakari's Passover, or you will see his Passover, you know what I mean, you, you, you the, Lord, the Lord did not honor that, Cause you honored yourself, you didn't honor the Lord be. You did not honor Yahweh and his son Yahweh Shai big man. You did not do it. So the Lord said away with them be. Isaiah 66 verse 1. For all those things have my hand made, and all those things have been saved the Lord. But to this man will I look, even to him that is poor and of a contrite spirit. And trembleth at my word. Gone. And Lord, I want to do fit this criteria, boy. A lot of don't fit this criteria. And that's why the Lord is spewing a lot of men out of his mouth, his body. He's vomiting out the undesirable food. Let me end with this preset here. See, Matthew 13 and verse 47. Again, the kingdom of heaven is like unto a net that was cast into the sea and gathered of every kind, which when it was full, they drew to shore and sat down and gathered the good into vessels, but cast the bad away. So shall it be at the end of the world. The angels shall come forth and sever the wicked from amongst the just. I shall cast them into the furnace of fire. They shall be wailing and gnashing of teeth. So, the Lord knows how to reserve the ungodly unto the day of judgment. So, you might very well go all the way down to the end, thinking you doing the work of the Lord. But just going straight to this destruction that's, that, that's coming, be. You see? I ain't saying that I. Um, but one of the elect, okay, I don't know, a CMN man that was before me in this truth, doing some wicked things. I hear some accounts of wicked things going on, boy. And these is men that was before me, that was on the highways before me, that had, had this word before me. You see? You know, but what I notice is that when they're practicing on the preaching, boy, when they're practicing on the preaching, and that's in Romans the second chapter. Thou that committest thou that teaches, thou should not commit adultery, does thou commit adultery? Thou that teaches a man should not steal, does thou steal? Thou that teaches thou should not worship either, does thou commit sacrilege? You see? So Allah wanna boy, I ain't hey boy, wanna just Hey, judgment must begin at the house of the Moorside. But what I don't understand that, First Peter 4, verse 17. 
judgment must begin at the house of God. And if it first begin at us, what shall the end be of them that obey not the gospel of the Lord be? You know? So, yeah, boy, um, this is basically like a little open forum. You know? You know um, all the events going on in Israel. You know what I mean? You should, you are my, you as a man should examine yourself. Ready be in the fifth. Prove your own self. That's what I think. Second Corinthians. Know you not like how we say my shit is in you, except ye be reprobates, void of judgment. You form ahead of Mississippi. I mean, detains this man saying that one of one of one of one of can't see what's going on. I can't see what's going on. He that is spiritual judge of all things. You know what I mean? The erroneous statements this man making, the, the, the actions that men doing that's completely worldly things. Yeah, like I read earlier. When they when they're still in the world, you know. When they really convert, yeah, you know. When they really convert, y'all just got this truth when they, when they, when they got it in the hand. Right? And you trying to bring worldly things and try to use the, 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 the scriptures because you know the scriptures. Right? And try to trace it to suit your agenda. You see? And that's a very dangerous thing we're doing, boy. Very, very dangerous, boy. The scripture says you got to be a new man. So I had to get this. I had to get this preset. Galatians 5 and 16. But this I say, brethren, Galatians 5, 16. This I say then, walk in the spirit, and ye shall not fulfill the lust of the flesh. Right. So like I read earlier, how was shy he was walking in the spirit. And they say, they came and tempted him. He was, Satan was appealing to Yahweh Shai's flesh. Right. Yahweh Shai rebuked the tempter. He rebuked Satan. And the beloved brother brought the bar's title. GMS rebuked the tempter. He rebuked the tempter. You see? Right. A lot of you don't rebuke the tempter, man. You, you, you want to use scripture like Satan to justify yourself. Oh, get that preset, boy. I can't remember what it was. Right? Uh, see if we get it here quick. Give it cut out. So, like here. You know what I mean? want to say uh, St. Luke 16 and 15 St. Luke 16 and 15 and he said unto them ye are there which justice for yourselves before men but the most high knoweth your hearts for that which is highly esteemed among men is abomination in the sight of the most high so when they just defend what they said before men, boy, when they really convert, when they really new creatures, boy. You know what I mean? When they got a lot of leaven in winter and it's being, it, you see the Lord has given you enough rope to hang yourself, boy. That's right. Give you enough rope to hang yourself. As the rope stretching out, when they don't check to see what's what going on here, what you doing is right. You know what I mean? Did they offend our brother? You know what I mean? Another thing too, one of those respect the man next to one here it is one of the men going up there preaching this word. I'm gonna murmur somebody murmuring against this 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 elder brother or somebody murmuring against a lower brother, etc. etc. Like what the fuck one could be murmuring be? When it's supposed to be in one, the scripture says there be no schisms in the body. What was that preset man? There be no schisms in the body. I figure out that preset goes, man. There should be no schisms in the body. Huh? You take the world in watching one Huh? You take the world in watching me? You take your hover bar, shimmy, I was shot in watching one of First Corinthians 12 25. Let me go up. First Corinthians 12 24. For our comely parts have no need. 
but the most I have tempted her the body together, having given more abundant honor to that part which lacked, that there should be no schism in the body, but that the members should have the same care one for another. So, so yo, boy, I love one of them is hypocrites out there, boy, you can't. I love one of them is hypocrites, boy. Boy, boys, I want to handle doing all kind of wicked things, big man. If you say you don't understand for about whatever the situation is, just for about the scripture says me remain blameless. Take the wrong. You know what I mean? Take the wrong. If you feel you right, but you see that this conversation is leading to a resolution. Take the wrong. That's the scripture too, you know. I take that as a scripture. Take the wrong, B. You know what that is? Take the wrong. You see? It just, it just let peace reign, even if it feel it right. Let the Lord handle it. But Lord, I don't want to take the wrong, boy. I don't want to justify myself, boy. That's that really mindset. Never forget what Elder Ayala said a while back. Men just want to get the lit back, thinking that that's be macho, thinking that that's be, you know, signs of a man. But nah, be. That's that worldly spirit, man. You have a shy, he's supposed to vindicate you, man, and fight for you, B. You know what I mean? Yeah, boy, the Lord can do some more sifting, man. More sifting. You know what I mean? God, Lord, I want to take this a joke. I want to get put in leadership positions and, and, and thinking that we're not untouchable. What with, with with the scriptures here? A child shall lead them. If you get how it goes, Master, which one of us is greater? Huh? Anyhow, man, I, I, I think I should close there. I ain't gonna, I ain't Lord, really get the merch. And um, pretty good at the fan boy, but unto the pure, all things are pure. But unto them that are defiled and unbelieving is nothing pure, boy. The things when I got this word, when I uh, be, when I got this truth, when I supposed to be transformed by it. I want to still doing things in this world, big man. To the brother next to you, to the brother across the world, huh? I want to forget the Lord watching. It's good to say the Lord's eyes are 10,000 times brighter than the sun be. I want to forget the Lord watching. Like, where when the minds men is? Where when the men's minds are? You know what I mean? What was the purpose of you being called in this truth? To do what? To be heroes. To be a sacrifice. He must increase, but I decrease. To be leaders, to be, to be brothers. You know what I mean? But all these kind of foolish, wicked things when the man's still doing, boy. I know that I would meet him more. So every situation I see like this comes up. I examine myself even more. See where it's going off, where it can improve. I pray to my father in heaven. To see where it's going off. Where it can improve. You know what I mean? And they ask for mercy. And his will be done. But Lord, I want to just feel one of the good, but Lord, I want to feel that like one of King David too. Lord, I want to feel one of King David too. Huh? Oh, King David do that so he can, he can get rid of too? Yeah, you, you, you want that arrest? You really want that arrest? Scripture says, humble yourself therefore under the mighty hand of the Most High. <laughs> when you doing that? It's really disappointing to see and hear what's going on in Israel, boy. Especially with men that supposed to got this truth, boy. You know what I mean? Former heads, former brothers, from past, present. Like I said, I know what can happen to me, but, you know, um, 
I started the scripture with Matthew 26 for the world watch as well as pray so you can continue to do that especially the prayer big man especially the prayer and double honor to mighty church, the apostles, the elders, and the bishops of Great Millstone, and shall warm to the Yakim who will avoid the dars and seer and serious doing the will of Yahweh, Bahasham Yahushai, Bahasham Mukha Khodash, Second Peter chapter one, verse one and two to you all. Shalom.